Hi everyone, happy Friday. Today I wanted to talk to you about irregular past participle words. So last week we talked about the form present perfect. So it begins with a subject and then we use has or oh, have. This is the negative form, hasn't, or you could use haven't depending on your subject. And then we use a past participle. So the past participles, you have the verb, and then it changes completely. So I wanted to review some of these, and you can repeat um, to practice your pronunciation. So the first past participle is ido, gone. He hasn't gone to San Jose for the past two weeks. Él no ha ido a San Jose en los dos semanas pasadas. Okay, the verb to be, ser o estar, been. They have been in the bank for two hours waiting in line. This is a very common sentence to use in Nozara. Ellos han estado en el banco por dos horas esperando en, en line, en, en la fila, I think that's what it's called. By... Comprar o comprado is the past participle, and we would say bought. Don't worry. No se preocupes. Graciela has bought all of the groceries. Graciela ha comprado todos los las compras. Have. Tenido. Had. This one sounds a little funny. Un poquito diferente, sí. I have had a stomach ache for three hours. So this is an important sentence because in English, we don't say no, no decimos me duele el estómago. We actually say tengo dolor de estómago. Um, and this works for other pains such as me duele um, la garganta, decimos Tengo dolor en la garganta. So I have had, yo he tenido uh, dolor en el estómago por tres horas. Now let's look, we have one more page. So this is some practice for you to do with these. These are very, very common past participle irregular verbs. So I'm going to take a photo and put this on the Facebook page, but try to practice and use these past participle irregular verbs to form the present perfect sentences. I hope you have a great weekend and let me know if you have any questions.